So I was just talking to a client who has, uh, we're building his resume story. We're talking about whether he needed to build a LinkedIn. And I, I'm a firm believer that everyone needs to have their LinkedIn refreshed and to adjust it to the current story in your resume. Um, in other words, they need to coalesce. And so if you, you know, you might think, well, my LinkedIn doesn't matter. I, I don't really use it. So I, I don't think it's a big deal. Well, other people are using it to find you, but they're not just looking to find you and say, oh, he worked at these companies or she worked at these companies and here with the titles. They're looking for your story in that LinkedIn. And if you're not keeping that current, then you might get passed over for someone who is. So you want to make sure your value proposition and what makes you unique, your, uh, your genuineness, your, your strategy, your way of selling and closing, your way of introducing clients to products that they heretofore would not have even considered. Those things matter in your LinkedIn because um, not only is it algorithms and, key algorithms and keywords, but someone's coming in and they're trying to match you to their current needs, not to where you were five years ago or what your old story is. What's your vision going forward? And if you're doing your resume right, that communicates that and your LinkedIn needs to communicate that as well. So don't get um, you know, lost or miss don't get short change don't short change your future career by neglecting to see the value in linkedin just because you're not using it other people are using it to get to you so be there and be competitive because someone else is building out their linkedin and they're getting increasing not only the number of people viewing it but the right people viewing it because they have the right words. Hope this is helpful. Get that LinkedIn in shape along with your resume story and you'll have your foundational tools for your portfolio. Have a great day.